There are a couple different tools in this world that are amazing. Well, there are more than a couple, but in this video, we're only gonna cover a couple. First and foremost, we're gonna cover ChatGPT and Notion, and why when you pair these two things together, you get an explosion of amazing goodness. Uh, it's not that serious, it's just software. But seriously, when you combine two great tools, in the world that we live in now, it's amazing what you can do, especially when you have amazing things that can combine those two, just like I can combine things and make workflows much easier using make.com. Thanks to make.com for sponsoring this video. For me, I'm a content creator. I like to ideate, I like to create. And when utilizing Notion, sometimes I just can't think too hard about what do I wanna title things, you know, because do I look like the kind of guy who has that kind of mental capacity to think all the time? The answer is no. But I want you to come into my shoes. What? I want you to take a step in my shoes and think about how I think as a content creator. I like to think about different things like creating content, ideas, but then taking it a step forward and figuring out what I'm going to title and how the thumbnails are gonna look for the different pieces of content that I create. In order to make something like this happen, where we connect Notion and ChatGPT, I'm actually gonna go inside of make.com and show you how I've set it up inside my own system and build a scenario from scratch. So you'll see within here, I actually have an automated setup that searches for recently created content ideas and then spits out title and thumbnail ideas based off of what I put in. So let's make something like this very simply inside of Notion. So say for example, I were to have a content database and just have a basic content calendar. What I could easily do is create a property that could be thumbnail idea and then another property that could be title idea. Now very easily in order to share this with make.com, first I'm gonna make sure that my connections are set up here, which they are, to make.com and then I'm gonna copy this link. Now what I'm gonna do is create a Notion module that searches objects. And then I'm gonna paste this link. And the database ID is actually what you get between the question mark and your name right here. So just take this guy and you'll see in a moment it'll refresh. And then, ooh, magically, all the different items are right here for the properties inside Notion. So what I'm actually gonna do is add one more property which is going to be a checkbox, just going to be called make me and then parenthesis automation. So what this is essentially going to do is it's going to check off whether the automation to run the thumbnail idea and title idea has happened yet. So I'm going to take this and then now search for make me checkbox equals and then we're going to go equals false. So what this is essentially gonna do is it's gonna look for all the different content items within here and whatever it doesn't have make me checked off will run the automation or we can have it showcased the other way. So for example, I could set it to true and then if I check this box off, it would then make the automation run. So let's just showcase what this first one would look like. So for example, if I check this, this tweet community events kickoff would run. Let's do run and make sure you actually select checkbox and not checkbox uh, formula. That was a mistake on my part, but you'll see this tweet community events popped up. Now say for example, I had an idea for a YouTube video. I'm gonna create this YouTube video. And I'm gonna call it make.com versus Zapier. And then I'm gonna click make me automation. My next step in the process would be to utilize ChatGPT with the OpenAI module to create a completion. Now, this is already connected to my API. With the connection here though, you can add your own by going to beta.openai slash API keys and you'll essentially create a new secret key, paste the API key in here and then you'll be able to add your connection and get this going. I'm gonna pick model four so that I have the most advanced option and I'm gonna tell it to be a assistant and the message content is essentially gonna take, I'm gonna look for the name here. So this is gonna be the name property, you'll find it in here, and I'm gonna find the text here. So this is the name property, and I'm gonna get the text there. And at the beginning of the message, what I'm gonna type is, based on the name below, please write three examples of possible YouTube 
video titles that are engaging and intriguing to the user. And then press enter to make it below. And then I'm gonna copy this and make another ChatGPT instance and change this to say, write three examples of possible YouTube video thumbnails that are engaging and intriguing to potential viewers. And then after that, we'll see that if I ran this, it would run my OpenAI instance and create example title ideas and thumbnail ideas for my usage. So we see right here, the choice that'll pop up and the message is gonna be, okay, ultimate DIY projects for beginners on make.com, reinvent your living room top home decor tutorials on make.com. So it clearly thinks make.com is <laughs> something that has to do with home decor. And then in the same sense for messages, I'm gonna show this as well. It's gonna showcase thumbnail, image featuring an array of DIY tools on a workbench with the text overlay. Okay, okay, okay. So clearly make.com is not something it's aware of. So let's do something better. Let's do the best productivity hack in Notion. Now, how do we get these to go into our Notion instance? All we need to do is we need to make a new database item within Notion, snag that same database ID, just paste it over, and then we're going to essentially update the properties of this right here with the ChatGPT instances. So first of all, we're gonna snag the database item ID by grabbing the page ID from this search module. We're going to update the make me automation to no so that this won't constantly run over and over again. We're gonna take the title idea and if you wanna make this easier on yourself, you can just right click and type title ideas, then right click and type thumbnail ideas, and then we'll drop the title ideas in here. Also note that this number is going to be the same as what you'll see right here. So we're gonna grab from the choices, the message, then we're gonna do the same thing for the thumbnail idea. You go to choices, message, and grab the content. Then we're gonna press okay. Now, if I run this instance once, you'll see that these two will populate and the make me automation checkbox will get unchecked. Once this successfully runs, this successfully runs, and this updates, you'll be wowed with the basic but effective automation I'm able to build. So now once this updates, Boom, you see that magic? So we got three ideas. Unlock your full potential, the best productivity hack in Rosen Revealed. Supercharge your efficiency, discover the best productivity hack in Notion. And three, work smarter, not harder. Look at this. And then a thumbnail featuring a picture of the Notion interface with catchy graphics that read boost your, look, I, and this is unchecked. Now for me, I love the fact that I don't know really to think about thumbnail and title ideas as much anymore because I make a lot of content and I could use the helpful nudge now and then. And the way that you can make this happen every single time you create a new instance is that say for example, every 15 minutes or every hour, whatever the length amount of time you wanna choose is, you can set it to that time and then turn it on so that every hour it will look for the different instances where you want a new YouTube video to have the title and thumbnail ideas made. Even more so for a video, what you can do you can edit this so that the video template automatically has that checked off. So if I were you to use the video template, you'll see that after I name it, it would then fit into the mold of being what will automatically run in this make.com scenario. And after we press save, we're good to go. Now I want you to imagine a world where not only on the beginning creation of the process do you have something like this occur, but what if, if you upload a video file into Google Drive it then gives you descriptions and tags based off of things like OpenAI's or other products' transcription mixed with ChatGPT4's super powerful assistant that then will take that transcription and turn it into a wonderfully made and SEO optimized YouTube description and tags. I use this for a lot of my stuff. It's no secret, I love ChatGPT and I love automation to go along with it. And I love the fact that make.com sponsored this video. I've been using this tool for the last year and a half nonstop it's really cool when tools that I use all the time reach out and say, hey, can I sponsor a video? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I was gonna probably make a video on it regardless. So thanks. And thank you for being such a big supporter of this channel and checking out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.